Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Carly SCG and welcome back to another video and today, as you can hear, we are coming back with, well, the next installment of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise marathon. Coming back with Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Now I'll explain what this, see, there you go. I'll explain what this means in a minute, but a bit of history between uh, behind these. This is a single cartridge. Single cartridge for Mega Drive, like all the other cartridges you've uh, all the other cartridges you've seen before. This is the Sonic. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh, I keep dropping things today. This is the Sonic the Knuckles cartridge. Now the difference between these two is this one's huge and this one's just pretty small in comparison. Oh my god, nothing's working. Ugh. But yes, basically what you do. Introducing DLC before it was DLC. Uh, this is because basically a bit of history behind this. Sonic uh, the Hedgehog 3, the complete edition really, was split into two games because the game was so big they couldn't fit it onto one cartridge. So what they decided to do is they decided to release uh, two versions of the game. Um, Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic the Hedgehog 3. We're gonna have a look at the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 first. You know what? Forget it. No, we'll, we'll look at Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. We're gonna we're gonna go double lock on, baby. Um, so yeah, pretty much what this uh, the story. It's, it's not much story. After the defeat of the Death Egg in um, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, thanks to the hand of Super Sonic, uh, the Death Egg crash landed onto Angel Island, which is home to none other than Knuckles the Echidna. Now, if you don't know who the hell Knuckles is. I don't have a picture of Knuckles. If you don't know who Knuckles is, he is basically the red echidna. He's the Rastafarian echidna with the Knuckles. He's got spikes on his uh, fists to show that he's the strong one. I'm never doing that again. I'm sorry about my arms. This is a problem. Um, so, yes, what happens is Egg, uh, Eggman, no. Uh, Dr. Robotnik walks around and he's like, you know what? I need to find something to power the Death Egg back up. Because you know what? I ain't giving up on this idea yet. Maybe 30 years down the line, he still doesn't give up on it. Um, so yes, and then he runs into Knuckles, and Knuckles is like, Yo, man, what the hell are you doing on my island? Come on, I said no intruders. So, um, he explains to Knuckles that he came to warn him as of a blue hedgehog and a yellow fox is coming to steal the chaos emeralds, and he's like, Oh. Thanks, old man. I'm going to take your word for it. Even though your di giant ball of death is, uh, you know, pretty much on a volcano, I'm going to take your word. So no, that's what Knuckles does. He takes he takes Egg, uh, Robotnik's word. Uh, Sonic hears of some disturbance on this angel island, and it's fallen. Um... No, it isn't. Is it? No, it's not. I'm just thinking about it. No, it's not fallen. Um, so yeah, Sonic and Tails go to investigate. Sonic decides to be like, hey, he tells. Guess what? Jumps off and he's like, boom, supersonic. And he just turns into supersonic and he goes racing onto the island, into Angel Island Zone. And then he gets knocked out of that super form by none other than, than Knuckles the Echidna. And he's like, uh, mate, I'm going to take your emeralds. He steals the emeralds and he runs off. And, and, and he hides them in special stages, which take on a new form this time. So I'll get into that later. But yes, um, plot is still pretty simple. By the end game, though, um, Knuckles has... Fight, fought Sonic and uh, in the Hidden Palace Zone, and they see a mural of Eggman with the Master Emerald and Sonic trying to get the Master Emerald back. And uh, you know, um, Sonic and uh, everything just starts collapsing, and everything. And Knuckles like, oh, bugger the Master Emerald! So he takes Sonic and Tail. Well, he tries to get to the uh, altar where the Chaos Emeralds or the Super Emeralds. We'll get into that later. Uh, are hiding. And, uh, yeah, they get there, and Eggman wrote, oh, 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 I can't wait until Sonic Adventure where I can start calling him Eggman. Uh, Knuckles is like, hey, yo, Robotnik, what are you doing, bro? You taking the Master Emerald? And he's like, ah, yeah, I'm taking this, so I'm gonna go then, bye. And that's exactly what he does, he takes the Master Emerald, but not without a fight. Knuckles is like, mate, I am not having this. Jumps onto the Master Emerald, holds on for dear life, and Robotnik electrocutes him. 
and he's like, oh, Christ, uh, okay. So then Knuckles is like, all right, I've learned the error of my ways, and he helps Sonic and Tails get to Sky Sanctuary Zone, where Sonic then goes to uh, the Death Egg, he fights Robotnik, and Robotnik gets away with the Master Emerald, and he flies off, just flies off into space. Um, so Sonic then ensues, because he has the Master Emerald, Sonic ensues as Supersonic, or Hypersonic, again, get into that in a bit. And, uh, you know, he defeats the first robot, Egg, uh, Robotnik then hatches his uh, shell, uh, and goes off in the Death Egg robot, and he's uh, with the Master Emerald. So, again, Hypersonic or Supersonic ensues, blows that up, and delivers the Master Emerald back to Knuckles on Angel Island, where the uh, island rises once more. And everybody is safe. The end. Thank God that it, oh, the plots are going to get more complicated over the. Oh, oh, Sonic 06. Oh no! Oh no! This has been a mistake. No, I'm joking. I like this. Um. So yeah. Um. Zones. Uh, as I say, we're going to take this off now because we're going to explain. Sonic uh, 3, Angel Island Zone, Hydro City Zone, or Hydro City Zone, depending on who the hell you are. Marble Garden Zone. Carnival Night Zone, Launch Base Zone, and the final boss thing. But the levels are a hell of a lot more longer now because they're more open, like they're more open. So they follow a different path, but you can feel the development. They have little cutscenes to transition into the levels, which is really, really cool, actually. And we've got Sonic and Knuckles, which again is the second part of Sonic Hedgehog uh, 3. We've got. Uh, Inge uh, Mushroom Hill Zone, yeah, another Hill Zone. Uh, flying Battery Zone. I've missed one on there. Oh bugger! Sorry. Sonic Three was Angel Island, uh, Hydro City, Marble Garden Zone, Carnival Night Zone, Ice Cap Zone. Then it's Launch Base Zone. All right, I got that one now. There you go. Um. And for this, uh, we've got, as I say, Mushroom Hill, Flying Battery, Sandopolis. Um, I'm going to get me like, oh my god. And then it culminates in Death Egg Zone, the Sky Sanctuary, then, oh, it's Lava Reef. Bugger! Oh my, forget it. Oh man, there are a lot of levels, basically, and if you include all of them, I think there's 12 levels altogether. Yes, there is 12, there used to be 7 or 8. There was, seven, uh, there was 6 in Sonic 1, 7 or 8 in Sonic 2, then there's 12 in Sonic Hedgehog 3. And Knuckles. So yeah, uh, gameplay wise, you can now play as either, depend. Uh, if you lock them on, you can then play as Sonic by himself, Tails by himself, Sonic and Tails, like uh, in Sonic Hedgehog 2. And you can play as newcomer Knuckles, which he can glide, he can climb walls, he can break through rocks and uh, discover... He's basically at the hard mode, because he doesn't jump as high as Sonic, and he doesn't run as fast as Sonic. Which is okay, because the brute strength kind of covers it. Tails can now fly, uh, other than his counterpart in Sonic 2, where he couldn't fly, which was very, very awkward. And Sonic has a new ability called the Insta-Shield. Now, the Insta-Shield, basically, you double-tap the jump button, and he just goes... <laughs> for, like, one second, and it... It can save your butt, especially in this game. It can save your butt. People have said that Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles is probably one of the uh, is one of the harder Genesis uh, Mega Drive games. To that I say, are you mental? Um, I'm sorry. This is uh, the class of the best Sonic the Hed uh, Mega Drive game of all time, and I see why. Um, yeah, I love this game. Fun fact though, the uh, music, as you can hear in the background, was actually made by Michael Jackson. Now there were theories going on and on about this years and years prior, but it was confirmed uh, a couple of, like, about six, seven years ago. And it was confirmed that Michael Jackson had worked on it, but his name had got taken out of it for um, some either legal reasons with Sega or the allegations against Michael Jackson when the game was being made. But apparently Michael Jackson was a huge Sonic fan. So to all of you, those who say that Sonic the Hedgehog sucks, technically you're saying Michael Jackson's taste sucks. So it's your fault. I'm not going to get into that though. And um, yeah... Honestly, this game is incredible. It's given us some of the best levels of all time. As I say, Angel Island Zone. Hydrocity Zone. Oh my god, I love Hydrocity Zone. And it's given us some of the best music that the Sonic franchise has ever seen. 
especially in the um, 90s. Uh, this was released in 1994, for some reason. You would have thought they would have stuck with the whole 1993 thing, but this game was huge. I mean, big time huge. And it basically does what Sonic 2 did to Sonic 1. It takes what it had before and improves on it. And I love that about these games. I think... I think that there are only a handful of Sonic games that actually do this nowadays. I mean, for example, um, Sonic, uh, Sonic 1, 2, and 3 improved on everything. And I guess you could say Sonic Mania carried it on. Um, Sonic Adventure 1, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 improved on Sonic Adventure 1's formula, which was, again, incredible. And then uh, you have Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors, and Sonic Generations, which it improved each time. Uh, but we'll get into those when we get to those games. And uh, honestly, if I could recommend any any game to play, if you're just getting into the franchise, I would skip Sonic 1, maybe Sonic 2, but definitely Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, because you can't play Sonic 3 by itself or Sonic and Knuckles by itself. It's just, you can't. It's better if you play, because then you unlock the, um, not only that, but you unlock these new emeralds called the Super Emeralds. And basically, you collect the emeralds, and once you transition into Sonic and Knuckles, uh, when you've connected them, it kind of takes on this new approach, where it's, the, the emeralds, you have to collect them again. But these are Super Emeralds now, you've got harder special stages, and everything, and once you collect all of the Super Emeralds, you can turn into Hypersonic, which is technically not canon. Why, Zuka? Why do you do this to us? We love Hypersonic. Please bring him back. Um, yeah, it's pretty much OP. I mean, uh, Super Sonic was faster and could jump higher than regular Sonic. But this one can do, like, a dash attack, an insta-kill attack. He can breathe underwater, I think. But he can't survive being crushed. He will still be crushed. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much about it, apart from the new villain, uh, one of the, some of the new villains that have been introduced, like the Egg Robo, who would later go on to be some of the main, uh, villains in Sonic Mania, and, um, Mecha Sonic makes his debut, and Mecha Sonic is just a god, if you don't know Jack uh, Pacific, the guys who make the Sonic merchandise now, like the Sonic figures, the play sets, the plushies, all of that, they are making a Mecha Sonic uh, figure, and I'm very excited to see that, because we haven't seen Mecha Sonic since, since this game actually, this, this was the last game he appeared in, I assume, I don't think he was in Sonic Mania, no he wasn't. And that's quite a shame, because Mecha Sonic was just a badass. He had his own super form and everything, which was... <whistles> but yeah, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend Sonic Hedgehog 3 Knuckles. I give this an 8.5 out of 10. It is, one of, it is the best Sonic the Hedgehog Mega Drive game that you could ever get. Although, as I said, I would show the boxes, but I don't, I don't own the boxes for these games, so I only have to show the cartridges. Um, but yeah... That's my quick summary of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, one of the best Sega Mega Drive games of all time. One of the best Sonic games of all time, according to some fans, and I see where they're coming from. But it still has its fair share of glitches, obviously, from being, you know, early, uh, early 90s, it's gonna have that effect. But it still holds up to this day. I, I recommend playing it. If you can't get the originals, I definitely recommend playing that on the Sonic Mega Collection or Sonic Mega Collection Plus. Because it hasn't been ported to the PC or... Actually, no. It has. If you can't get those and you just want a free version, download the ROM hack Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Complete. It basically does everything that Sonic & Knuckles does, just improves big time on it. And I mean big time. Uh, but... Mm, save that for another for another uh, series of videos um so yeah that's pretty much about it for sonic and knuckles and sonic 3 and knuckles sorry one of the best sega mega drive games of all time and one of the best games i've ever played now um before i go i'm just gonna say i have done a bit of working uh on these video ideas to make sure what games i have and haven't covered and what games i need to cover i have two full freaking pages and it worked up to about what was it um 64 games? 64 games. And that's not... Uh, that's 60... Uh, sorry, there's uh, a certain amount of games, but we're also going to cover TV shows and movies. We're just going to cover the entire franchise as much as we can. 
But yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. And next time, we shall be diving into the world of spin-offs. Yes, spin-offs. I don't want to admit it, but we're going to have to. Oh well. We are going to be going into... The time Sonic was a pinball. That's right, we're going into Sonic Spinball for the Sega Mega Drive and the Sega Game Gear. The Sega Game Gear, you may ask. You're going to have to wait until the next video. As I say, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. You'll be doing me a huge favor. And don't forget to spin dash that bell icon for updates on future content. I've been Carl the STG, and I will see you guys later. Peace.